Hey everyone, welcome back to Data Monk. In today's video, we are going to uh, write a query to fetch odd and even records from a given table. Okay, so uh, let's just directly get started with it. I have already created a table for you. We have the table salaries, which has the attributes employee ID, name, gender, department, and salary. So I'll just show you our table select star from salaries right so i'll display how our table looks right so uh we are we need to find query to fetch even and odd records from the table all right even and or maybe even or odd right even or odd records from the table so let us start with first fetching uh, even records from the table, okay? Uh, we are going to do this by two methods. Uh, we are going to either use the function row number or we are directly going to use a very simple uh, keyword that is mod. So mod is basically, uh, you know, you know what is what mod is when you divide a number and when you get the remainder as value that gives you the mod value right so uh, for let us first find for even and here we'll use the keyword mod so what I'm going to do is directly select star select star from salaries okay where now here comes the condition where the mod the mod of emp id so for even number it should be divisible by 2 right that is very much clear and when it is divisible by 2 it should give me the remainder 0 isn't it if i'm if i want to fetch even rows uh, when, whenever I'm taking mod of my employer ID and 2 it should give me the remainder 0 because even row should be completely divisible by 2 so let us run this and see what we get yeah so we got our even rows that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 alright now we're also going to use another method for it that is row number because here in this situation if you see our employer ids are sequential that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 12 what if these employer ids had different values right so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use our row number function for that uh, i want to select star okay from here we'll start our inner query to fetch the row uh, to fetch the row numbers for our given table. We'll write select star select star comma. We are going to run our row number function. I hope you are aware of this function. If not, refer to the previous videos. We have a, a complete video on row number function. So this is the syntax and we are going to order this by our EMP ID. You can choose any criteria for that matter. And then whatever we fetch from this inner query, okay, whatever we fetch from this inner query, we are going to store that in say even row. Okay, this is as I mentioned earlier also in other videos also this uh this particular as alias is going to give a temporary name to the query that i'm fetching so it will store the value whatever i get from this particular query so i, I want to store that in the name even row and then just from our table that is salaries now this outer query also the value that we'll get from this particular outer query, we are going to say name it as imp salaries. Okay, it is it is kind of important to you know uh, give names to your queries 
so that it can stores value and you are able to fetch it as and when required now here comes a condition where the even row even row that what is my even row storing it is so, uh, storing the rows all the rows right it, this so it, this even row modulus the sign for modulus is percentage 2 should be 0 again the above logic only whenever we are dividing by 2 so it should fetch us the remainder 0 if it is an even value right so I'll just break this down for you we have just used the row number function here and we have used the subquery uh, uh, subquery here so what we have done is we have written select star from uh, from row numbers from where we are getting all the row numbers and we are ordering this by our employer ID and we are storing that query value in our row even row attribute all right and then the condition is simply where this even row percentage 2 or modulus 2 is equal to 0 let us run this okay we have a little problem here let's see what's that just a second okay maybe maybe we haven't added spaces yeah so if you see here we have got all our even rows 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 uh, I shouldn't have removed star from here so that we can see all our values let us see that yeah so we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. We got all the even rows. And if you see we have another column also. How did we got this? By using the row number function and we have stored the value in the attribute even row. Right? Similarly for odd, what you are going to do is I'll, I'll make the changes in this particular query only so you'll be able to understand. So now we are going to do it for odd values. What you are going to do is instead of this equal to sign, just use the not equal to operator. So this is your not equal to operator. This uh, greater than and less than sign together is your not equal to operator. So let us run that. And we'll just comment this for now. Alright. And let us see what we get. Hmm. Okay, why is it running for us? We don't need this to be running. Uh, I'll just end this also. Alright, so okay, we haven't displayed the table. So we got this first one. And yeah, here we got our second one. So we got our uh, rows which are odd 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. All we had to do is instead of the equal to operator we use the not equal to operator here. Right? Moving ahead uh, you can similarly do that for this particular function. You will select all the values then you will find the row number. And what you are just going to do is instead of this equal to, uh, equal to 0 you can either write equal to 1. Or instead of this particular uh, equal to sign, you can write not equal to sign. That is completely upon you how you want to write. So let us just run this. Yeah, so if you see we got our uh, odd rows uh, where we have row number also assigned and we got all the values. You can, you can just instead of you can use equal to 1 also it will fetch you the same value yeah so you got your even rows 1 3 5 7 9 and 11 and with the help of row number function we have got the row numbers as well uh, the row numbers are employer and employer ID are same here because the, our employer IDs was sequential otherwise you can directly see from the row numbers right so in this video we have learned how we can fetch even and odd records from the given table and we have used two methods for that the mod method and the row number method so i hope 
next time whenever you get a table and you are asked to fetch order even values you'll be able to find it in just a minute so keep watching keep learning have a good day